video I am going to solve these three equations by using the Casio FX991ES so let me tell you how to solve it press the button mode then press the button 5 where equation is written 5 then press the button 2 because button 2 means there are three unknowns x y and z so press this button 2 okay so there is column a column b column c and column d so if you see the first equation the coefficient of i1 is 1 so the value of a is 1 press equals 2 to feed the value to the calculator the coefficient of i2 is b which is 2 press the equals to button to feed the value to the calculator the coefficient of i3 is minus 1 which is the value of c so press minus 1 and press equals to to feed the value and the constant which is appearing on the right hand side of this first equation is 4 so this is the value of d so press 4 then equals 2 now coming to the second equation the coefficient of i1 is 2 which is the value of a so press 2 then equals 2 coefficient of i2 is 1 press equals 2 coefficient of i3 is 1 press equals 2 and the constant which is appearing on the right hand side of equation number 2 is minus 2 so press minus 2 then equals 2 to feed this value coming to the third equation the coefficient of i1 is 1 coefficient of i2 is 2 coefficient of i3 is 1 and the constant which is appearing on the right hand side of the equation number 3 is 2 press 2 then equals 2 so you have fed all the values of equation number 1 equation number 2 and equation number 3 to get the solution press equals 2 now you got the value of x so the value of x is actually the value of i1 so i1 equals to minus 5 by 3 the value of y denotes the value of i2 which is 7 by 3 press equals to again to get the value of i3 which is z equals to minus 1 so in this way easily we can solve these three equations by using this calculator very important thing i am going to tell you after solving this problem clear the memory of the calculator how to clear the memory of the calculator press shift then 9 then 3 then equals 2 okay so in this way uh, we have cleared the memory of the calculator and you can perform other calculations now so uh, these kinds of problem will appear in the mesh analysis and in the nodal analysis and if you like this video kindly share it to the electrical engineering graduates thank you